Good day, everybody. Welcome. The subject of today's video is tempo. How to find your swing tempo. What is rhythm and what is tempo? Rhythm is the order of moves you intend to apply in your swing. Sequence of moves. Tempo is simple speed. Speed of your swing. Pace of application of the moves. Suppose we have a sequence of some moves such as one, two, three, four. The same rhythm can be applied with various tempos. One of them is faster tempo. You have the same rhythm, the same sequence of moves, but two different tempos. Three, two, one. What does that mean? They move up to the top of the swing in three beats of time and coming down in one beat of time. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. From the takeaway to the impact. Three beats of time. Between each beat, duration of time is the same. Three beats of time to the top and from the top to the impact, one beat of time. It's the average of the best two plays all together, four beats of time. On the average, each beat of time takes some 0.25 seconds. That means four times 0.25 makes one second. This is the average for the players. Don't you ever forget this figure doesn't belong to anybody. This is average statistics for the best two players. Some people has 4 to 1 ratio. Some of the coaches today say they feel great with the 4 to 1 ratio. You go to your Google, look for metronome and find 200 beats that, 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 that using these time intervals hit balls at your driving range. 3 to 1 ratios, 4 to 1 ratios, in between these ratios, the process of trial and error, you have to find your best, your most comfortable tempo for your thing. Let me remind you, first, almost certainly, you decide on your rhythm, which moves and how you are going to be applying in your swing, which is the rhythm. I strongly recommend you to try on the Google metronome first 180 beats per minute and then 200 beats per minute. Keep trying until at one of them you feel great, comfortable in your swing. There is no other way. You are yourself and you have to find your own tempo. You are unique, therefore your tempo is also unique to yourself only. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Four to one tempo. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Altogether five beats. Let me remind you one thing. There is a belief the faster your tempo, the more dangerous the swing is, the more inconsistent the swing is. This is totally wrong. To the level you are capable of managing, the more powerful, the more consistent, and the more accurate the swing is. I mean, the faster the pace of your tempo, the comfortable you are in your swing, in the sense of power generation, in the sense of distance generation, in the sense of accuracy. Don't you ever forget this simple fact, because the beliefs are the contrary. Let's give it a try. By the way, if there are some points not quite understood, 
you can ask me below, I can come back to you and give you the clarification. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It was great. By the way, I thought my tempo is four to one, but this three to one tempo was perfect. Maybe I should give it a try to three to one tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great shot. One, two, three. Great shot. Three to one ratio. Let's try four to one ratio. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Great shot. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect shot. So this is the whole story. If there are areas which is not properly explained, please don't hesitate to write me. Thank you very much. Hope it is useful. See you in the next videos.